now bike shows. There's loads and loads of bike shows in there, up and down the country. Every weekend during the summer, you could go to a bike show. But would you bother? Well, I doubt it, because the truth is, if you go to one, more or less, you've seen them all. Bit of a travelling circus these days, bike shows. But if you were to pick one show to go to every year, then this is definitely it. That's because we're here at the East of England showground, a massive place at Peterborough, and it's where the BMF have their annual rally. And you know, last year there was 80,000 people came and visited this, and I reckon they'll top it this year without a doubt. And they come and have a look around the show because there's absolutely all sorts for you guys. So follow that cameraman and he'll show you around the show. seem like 12 months does it but it is believe me since I was stood here on this roof talking to me old mate and your mate Jeff. Now Jeff you know more about this show than, than anybody I think don't you? Well more than a lot of people well, yeah. You do I've know more than a lot. I've been here very long. So because you've been involved in it many years but how many years has it existed this show now? Actually the first one was 1960 which was even before my time would oh, you it believe. Before my time. Not, <laughs> it's quite hard to believe but then it was just the BMF Rally, which a lot of people know is it now, you know, it's now the show, but they still call it the BMF Rally. But that was just a sort of collection of bikers getting together in a field, a few tents. And now over time, it's grown to this, the BMF show. Because it's huge now, isn't it? in Europe. It is, that's official, isn't it? The oh, biggest it show. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. there's nothing else like this. So how many came in them days? Well, I mean, how long have you been here? Because you've not been here since 1960, have you, in Peterborough? Oh, no, this was 76, 77, 77. Right. We've been at Donington and then came here 77. And is that when you started your involvement with it then? It, it was, really. That's when I first ran the press office here. And then we used to have an attendance around about 16, 17,000, I seem to remember, in those days. Right. Nothing like today. Well, like to, well, I say, well, what is land? What's well, typical? today, I don't know today, because it's, it's no, too, but too early. typical now for, for yeah, this. Well, I peaked here a couple of years ago, 86. Thousand people. It's That's a hell of a lot of people. Yeah. So we're expecting something similar today. Well, you've got a dry weekend for it, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. So why do they come? Why do the well, Why do eighty-six thousand people do come? You know, come to Peterborough. It's not yeah. an easy place to get to. No, it's it's not, is it? Like I asked it a lot. Not as if you well. live where I live, it isn't easy. Not if you came the route I did, it's not easy. <laughs> So why do they come then? What you brings can buy it? a map here. <laughs> I need a bloody map, I'll tell you. Good. No, there, there's several reasons. Perhaps the main one, it's a massive shopping arcade. We've got 900 exhibitors here where you can buy absolutely everything to do with bikes. So people come to shop and buy the bargains as the sort of start of the season. Then you've got all this chaos behind, the old moped running oh, at the yeah. moment. Yeah. All the arena activities, which is good, laid back, fun entertainment. Right. And so there's people who come for that, and then people bring the family along, and there's a mixture of things, you know, but it, it's a unique event. Yeah. There's nothing else like this one. And there's an auto jumble as well, that was quite interesting. Oh, yeah, it's it's an amazing that. place, isn't it? So you pick up bags. a rusty old bit, and you think, <laughs> what's that? Well, never mind, it's 20 quid, mate. Well, there's know. stuff on there that I've thrown better stuff in the skip. <laughs> I have, honestly, yeah. But it is fantastic, and it's a nice atmosphere, isn't it, because there's kids about. And oh, yeah. T t how many marshals have you got? I keep seeing all these people walking around in bibs. How many of them is there? It's round, round figures, about 600. 600. And all of them volunteers, you know, all doing their they bit. They don't get paid a penny. No, and interestingly, some people say they don't like the marshals, they're too much jobs worth and whatnot. Well, well they're not a, jobs worth, they're not getting paid. There's a couple on the gate there, like two Rottweilers. <laughs> Proper jobs worth. They wouldn't but, let me in. But what they're doing, and it's probably worth saying this, this show is so successful because it's so slick and well organised, and without the marshals, you don't get it. You only need exactly. a few, I nearly swore then, but a few um, people plain awkward and being silly and the whole thing starts to fall apart. You keep the marshals in place and say, hey, don't do that, move your car from there and it all runs smoothly. That's right. Yeah, well it does run very smoothly and as I say, it's a very safe environment because I'm not even seeing a policeman. Have you got any policemen here? <laughs> Only one. You got one yeah, policeman. Yeah, we don't we don't broadcast that. You no, don't even that, watch it. No, but I mean it just shows that there's no need. I mean I don't think there's any other walk of life where you would get this atmosphere. You wouldn't, will you? I know you're a keen footballer, and so uh, yeah, football we don't, we don't be beating each other up if it was football. No, this is all laid back. It's easy going, and it's um, well. I think that's another key. People feel safe. We even run the kiddies' crash up there, as you know. Yeah, I know. And yeah. so it's it's got something for the whole family, and genuinely so. Yes. Yeah, We're fantastic. talking about families. Where is he? Who? Uh, that man, Wayne. Now, I know he's here, so you don't have to make any excuses. I've seen him. He is here. Last time I saw him, he was on a stage with some dancing girls. Well, 
he was. He was in havoc. What was he doing? Oh, just know, causing no. havoc. That's enough. No, no. In fact, that's probably me. That bungee. Have you been on that yet, Jeff? <laughs> no, I that catapult have, thing. You should never go in that. It is him. I can see him. <laughs> He's talking. It must be him. Must be him. One of the main arena highlights was provided by Derbyshire-based stuntman and entertainer, Jumping Jake Semtex. Now, Jake is more famously known for his extra-long wheelies and his rather explosive stunt displays. But this year, he decided to recreate a scene from Mission Impossible. Of course, we start off with a kidnap at gunpoint, then in flies the helicopter. All very predictable, but very, very entertaining. Lots of gunfire, we had car chases, bikes jumping over ramps and of course Jake being Jake we were guaranteed the odd crash bang wallop along the way of course there needs to be a motorcycle chase so out of the back of a van comes our hero aboard his KX motocross and then goes speedway style around the arena And then some 10 minutes later, the whole thing ends rather predictably and in true Jake Semtex style with a huge explosion and the loudest bang that we'd heard all weekend. Now when you come to the show here, you would ordinarily walk around you might buy a few bits and pieces, treat yourself. You might watch a few things going on, like the stunt show, and maybe the speedway riders, the trials riders, and so on. Well, that's just a tad frustrating, because really, you want to have a play, don't you? Well, if you're 16 and under, you can do so. You pay 10 pounds, and you get tuition to have a go on a little bike like this, or a bit bigger, if you're a bigger fella, and you are 16, most 16 year olds are bigger than me. And you go and get tuition from the boys over here, teach you how to ride, have an hour's lesson, and have some fun on it and play. And then, at the end of it all, you get a certificate, a rider competence certificate. You will notice it's not been filled in because I haven't yet passed my test. But nonetheless, I think it's a great idea encouraging young lads, all ladies of course, to have a go on an off-road bike with a bit of a, um, skilled tuition and end up being a competent bike rider all within an hour. Ying, 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 ying. Lots of people have paint jobs done on the bikes these days. Some people just have it painted in its original colours to make it look nice, make it look new. And some people have race replica paint jobs like this one here. Have your superbike painted to look like your race hero. But you don't just have to have a superbike, you can have a scooter. Look at this here. This is a Lambretta and it's been painted up to commemorate the Battle of Britain. It's absolutely fantastic. And these people who've done this called Wacky Shack, it's covered in Spitfires and Winston Churchill and goodness knows what. It's absolutely fantastic. It's beautiful, I have to say. But if you want one like this, they'll do it for you, but you better start saving because this will cost you two and a half thousand pounds. Hello, boys and girls. Isn't it amazing what you find at these bike shows? Look at that. This has got to be the ultimate in bike covers and security because this thing, big metal framework, really easy to use. I did it dead easy on the inside, complete with some security device here, which is all so secure. Portable, take it to your house, plonk it there. Who needs a garage when you've got this? Fantastic. And this, you can have, look, for less than 700 quid. And they do a double version as well for less than a thousand pounds. That's assuming you've got two bikes, of course. Or your missus kicks you out when you've been out on the town and you've got to sleep with your bike for the night. Well, that should keep him quiet for a while in that tent, shouldn't it? But this is another way of securing your bike. Not just securing it, but keeping it dry and out of the weather and, uh, and all that business. It's called Secure a Bike, and it's a shed kind of thing, really. A very substantial metal shed. Look at them locks there, eh? There's bolts all over it. And the whole thing is Thatcham approved, which means you get a little bit of insurance discount, which we all like, don't we? This will cost you 1,200 quid, but that's brought to your door, delivered, erected like this. And at the front there is a big anchor for the front wheel to go in as well, so it's safe. <coughs> is, it, is it morning already? Go. 
know, it's a massive show, this. It's huge, it's enormous. There's people here from all over the place. You could spend two days here walking around and I think you still wouldn't see everything. But there's a much easier way to see everything, all at once as well, by taking a flight in one of these, the Air Amiga helicopter. Come on, we'll show you. There'll be more from uh, this year's show after the break, but for the moment I'm doing a little research. Oh, welcome back. I tell you what, there's all sorts going on at the show. Why don't you just go and have yourself a little look? Now we keep saying you can buy anything to do with motorbikes here at the show, and I mean anything because here in this tent, would you believe you can come and you can book your biking holiday or your biking tour, because we've got loads of different companies here all offering tours and holidays. Bike Tours UK there, we've got White Rose Tours there, they do tours and holidays throughout the UK, right up into Scotland and across to Ireland, so if you don't want to do thousands and thousands of miles, maybe they're the people for you. MCI Tours here, we know them. They do tours throughout Europe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine day tours, really, whatever takes you fancy. So they'll sort you out if you want to go to Europe. HC Travel over there, they're like a, a booking agency, really. They're sort of a travel agent, if you like, for motorcycle tours. Outside, you've got Moto Adventures. They do Andorra and Morocco. So if you want a bit of off-road stuff, if you like the rough stuff and a bit of desert riding, maybe they're the boys for you. And there's one or two other companies as well. So when I say you can buy anything to do with bikes here at the show, I do mean absolutely anything. Now then, where shall we go this week? And so after a tough day traipsing around the trade stands and spending lots of money, time to head back to the tents, crack open a beer and fire up the barbie. Hey, this is the poshish barbecue, look at this here now. What, what have we got then? What's the menu tonight, chef? Not much, it's all gone. Not much, it's all gone, they look like pretty hefty Steak, steak. pork, chicken, this is camping, Chops. you're supposed to be roughing it, aren't you? Well, we all come on bikes, <laughs> bar that van over there. I'm going to say, you must have brought a big van for all this lot here, eh? Fantastic. What's this man with the funny hat here? What's, what's this? Is, this? is it a fancy dress or what? Right, well, no, this is just a welding hat. And what it is, it's, 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 it's a beacon. A welding hat? Yeah. It's a, it's weld a welding hat. But, but, but the welding hat acts as a beacon. Me and my wife, right. we've been coming here for many, many years, oh, right? Are they all your badges from every year? Well, I've been coming here before that. but 1982 they, they go back to there. The actual right. the year bar started at 82, but I've been coming here since 1976. Why am every I? year since 1976. And over the years, we've met lots of people and me and my wife wear these hats and they act as beacons so that people, everybody looks alike obviously. So you can home in. Like and people home into us, yeah. Oh, fantastic. And there must be about 30 people here I suppose now. There's a, a couple from Belgium. Yeah. We was at their rally two weeks ago yeah. and they come over here and they start spreading the word about the BMF and, and everybody just joins in. Big and family, isn't it? Ev <laughs> every year it gets bigger and bigger, yeah, Wonderful. because I'm telling people and all of these people are telling people. Yeah. And so we get here and we have about half an acre saving places for people to turn up. So if, uh, where do you come from then? I come from South East London. South East London, right. But, um, and so people are here from Scotland. People yeah. in our group are from Scotland, from Belgium, from Leicester, from all up and down the country. And now you've got friends everywhere. Well, we have got friends every year, but that's what it's all about. Is this a man, all this lot? All this, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he owes Patrick, your money. He owes your money. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's this over here, Patrick? Right, well, pa Patrick from Belgium. Come here, Pat. Does he speak English? He does, perfect uh, English. Do you speak English, Patrick? Yes, a little Are bit. Are you a regular visitor to this event? Yes, then? it's the second time I uh, come here. Do you have anything like this in Belgium? No, no, no. Uh, sm all uh, small uh, rallies there, uh, right. not uh, like, something like that. So you do you have. ride from Belgium to yes, here? Yes, yes. Uh, we take the ferry in Calais to Dover, yeah. then we come to here. Fantastic, great. Yes. What, what's, what do you like? What's so, what's so special about it? Uh, the, the people who, who the, stays here, yeah. uh, it's great with uh, 
5,000 yeah. uh, members here who are staying here on the camping. And uh, the, 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 the things you can sell uh, yeah. there, you can sell there. Fantastic. That's, that's, well, that's have great. Safe, have a safe trip home and keep yes, thank you. spread thank the you. good words through Belgium, won't you? Certainly, certainly. We'll Next year we come with a lot of people. Great. <laughs> okay, so what is the attraction then? What, what's best um, about it? Bargains. The crack. Good good and the bargains. The bargains. Good fun weekend. The camaraderie. The camaraderie. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you can meet up with other. Do you meet up with other people who have yeah. been here the year before, like? Yeah. 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 I'm yes, in between friendly. two groups. I've got friends over there. I came down with mates over there and I've joined up with this group as well. So. Right then. Is that because you're like, they don't want you over there and you've fed up with No, it's because I'm just very popular. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, I think it's Billy No makes myself and they've got rid of him. Uh, yeah, I, bet, I bet you've not even brought your own beer, you have you? Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. There you go. I just assumed you had him not offering me one, like, you know. But anyway, that's good. Uh, okay, so are we coming back next year then? Oh, yeah. yeah. Get your vote. Yeah. Have you got some bargains? Have we got some yes. bargains? Yes, yes. Some bargains. yes. Yeah. Are you wearing it? <laughs> it's very nice on you, love, there. And do they not do them to fit properly? Is it just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking, I'm only, you look lovely in that. Thank you very much. The North. Are you regulars here then? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been about five times. Have you? Yeah. Why do you keep coming back? It's good do. Good good. <laughs> what, 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 why, why is it a good do? What's good about it? It's just good. Come on, tell me the best thing about it. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. Yeah. People that come. And the bargains. Yeah. What well, have you yeah. bought then? Come on, I bet you spent uh, a fortune. A couple of pairs of gloves. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't know what else we've got. A few things. Have you? Right, are you going to come next year? Yeah. Keep coming forever. And more. this year. And this. There's, and another, there's another one then, September. This, this, right, yeah, that's in Kent, isn't it? No, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one here. This one in Kent. Tail yeah. end, we are, we've been about the last four years, haven't we? Have you? Yeah, yeah. What are you all riding? All this lot? Triumphs. Triumphs, 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 triumphs. triumphs. All triumphs. Oh. <laughs> That's my blade. That's my blade over there. That's your what? Your blade? That's your blade, blade, is it? Is yes. it over there? Yes. And where have you come from on that? Beverly, Hull, Northumberside. Northumber, that's a fair trek, isn't it? Yeah, I went home again last night as well. Because my dog had you puppies. Your dog had puppies? <laughs> Trying to come. <laughs> dog had puppies as well. And how's the dog then? All right. Or how's the bitch, should I say? Oh, she's all right. She's, she's all right. right thank you very right, much. Well, yeah. continue to enjoy yourself. Thank Don't you very much. Don't get too much. drunk, will you? No, no, we'll try not to. Here, can you get in here now, listen? Go Obviously, on. with this big Suzuki sign behind me, you're all riding no. Hondas. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, so have you nicked it or something? Where's it come from? That's how you go Suzuki stand. Is it? Is it oh, we won't tell anyone about that then. You're just on loan, is it? Yeah. Right then, okay, so where are we all from then? Redford. Redford. Yeah. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know. Oh, Nottingham. Oh, you haven't, you haven't come very far then, have you really? Huddersfield, yeah. you've come a little further, yeah? Regular visit, is it, the BMF rally? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. An annual thing? Yeah. Because yeah. you, well, you're from another part and they're from another part of the world, have you met up here? Or you? <laughs> all right then. And, and, uh, so I travel down all on my own. Oh, <laughs> Billy, no, mate. What a bloody <laughs> show, mate. Oh, hey. So, go on, I'll just sit down here. This lady's made me chair free. Look, can I? Uh, obviously, somebody works for the, uh, the company that supplied the gas for this fire. <laughs> Yeah. Is that will be costing a few? Oh, okay, it's nice, nice. here. <laughs> yeah, I just put me. I mean, got any slippers with you? I could wear, have you? Generous it's very cosy. Is that right? Yeah, needy <laughs> cause, a needy cause. Okay, so the beer, uh, we, we want to know generally. We're asking the same questions to everybody in little groups with the barbies in the tents and everything. And that is the attraction of this event. What is it? What's the main thing that brings you here? Crack. Shall I ask you an easier question? I've got crack it. <laughs> just, uh, just a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap clothing. Cheap clothing. Yeah. And you're from where? Huddersfield. <laughs> that would be Yorkshire, wouldn't it? Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 Nice to see you. I'm not kissing his tongue. We're, we're just going through the Morris dance scene now. The, 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 he's going through the Morris dance scene. through the Morris dance scene. He's got a fetish about being a Morris dancer. I'm so, not a fetish. So we, now he's uh, don't start swearing. Now. We've done it. Like We've done the Morris dancing scene. Have you? What's the, is this it? Where's your, you need yes. clogs. Where's your clogs? Well, well it's we have got clogs. You have to have got, little sticks oh, to so bang We are the bikers, mate. He's got his stick down there, so say We are bikers. So you're enjoying yourself? We are. Good time, Eric. Superb. Did you all get in all right? Yeah, no mess. Whatsoever. I know because you phoned me up for a ticket, didn't you? Correct. And I didn't what? get you one, did I? Well, I had to fetch him anyway. Excuse me, we got, we got the sticks. <laughs> Come on, then we want the bit of cabinet. Haven't reversed. Haven't reversed. He hasn't reversed it. You've got to 
had to watch where the fingers go. Come on, Alec. I know. One, two, three. three one, two, three. three. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Say no Calm more. down. <laughs> I get, uh, I get worried when I get something erected me, haven't I? Well, exactly. Yes. So, That's what the wife said. Anyway, <laughs> so are you staying here all night? We are no? staying. Yes. We are staying. You're not going see. to the beer tent, Ralph? No. Nope. Yes. You don't need we'll, to. We will do. We will do. Have you got any beer here? Oh, yes, certainly. Well, I might stop here then. We've got no film in the camera, but... What's that? Water's a lot of bloody water to me. We've got no film We've got plenty of whiskey. What is it? We got plenty Natural of whiskey, we got plenty water. of beer. Yeah, it's called brandy and coke. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes, tastes a bit like brandy and coke, but anyway. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, anyway. I'll tell you what, what a fantastic welcome. You've enjoyed it, have you? Yeah, it's yeah, been yeah brilliant. Brilliant. it's been brilliant. Is it? Why is it so good? What, I mean, tell it's me. It's happening. Camaraderie, isn't it, really? Exactly. Everybody. Everyone says, isn't it? Don't Next door to everybody. Mm. Everybody's getting... That's what it is, yeah. And all yeah. the tents wet, all the shaking in the tents. Yeah. It's I'm brilliant. Old tonight, yeah, it really so. is. Yeah. I walked round before and I stood on a woman's uh, backside. <laughs> yeah, and a, and a really? And said, <laughs> 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 Amazing. No, no, it's been... No, it probably is. No, it's been... Just Carrot. Just Carrot, 1976. Exactly. Hey, fantastic, yeah. Right, well, so I'm getting out of here before the trouble starts now. fantastic. had a brilliant weekend. He's had a brilliant weekend, yeah. <laughs> BMF. Fantastic. BMF, that is what you want. He's absolutely fantastic. So I'm getting paid for this. And he hasn't even reversed any of this. BMF is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Come here, even if you don't know what it's all about. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I agree with you. It's I all totally about bikes. If you don't know what it's all about, Come here for the BMF, then you get to know. Then you'll know what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Makes perfect that's sense all, to me. That, that is it. Makes yeah, perfect sense coming. to me, Jeff. Right. We've got new well, that's just a quick look at this year's BMF show. In fact, that's only a look at half of it. There's loads more to show you, and we'll bring you all that on two wheels next week.